Hi, Brent Tech here, where tech is made simple. So Windows 11 began rolling out earlier this year on the 30th of September. And Microsoft has been using a controlled phased approach like they normally do with the feature updates that roll out towards the end of the year. And if you have been waiting for 25H2 and haven't seen it yet on your device, just to let you know that Microsoft has now announced over on its Microsoft Docs website that Windows 11 version 25H2 is now available to all eligible Windows 11 devices for users who have the get the latest updates as soon as they are available toggle turned on. So if we head to Windows Updates, as you may well know, you need to have this toggle turned on. And Microsoft says that if you have an eligible Windows 10 or Windows 11 device, you can check if the update is available by obviously heading to this page and then seeking and checking for updates. And Microsoft says that if your device is ready for the update, you will see the option to download and install Windows 11 version 25H2. Now, the fact that Microsoft says that if you have an eligible device means if obviously it meets the hardware requirements and there are no safeguard holds applied against your device. As an example, there might be an app or a driver issue or another problem that Microsoft is putting a safeguard hold on your device until that issue is resolved and then they will roll out the feature update and make it available for download on your device. So that's what they are talking about there. But just take note, Microsoft says the machine learning based intelligent rollout has begun for devices running home and pro editions of Windows 11 version 24H2 that are not managed by IT departments. So that's interesting using machine learning to get the job done, which may or may not be a good thing. Now, in regards to 25H2, I forced the update for the purpose of this channel. I wasn't offered it at the get-go. But I must be honest, since upgrading to 25H2, I know 25H2 still has a couple of issues. But I do find 25H2 for me runs a lot better and is personally more stable than 24H2. I had endless problems with 24H2. And I must be honest, my day-to-day -day running 25H2 is a lot better now that I've updated. So that may or may not help you, depending, obviously, your view on all of this. And if you're not seeing 25H2 after checking for updates, even if you have this toggle turned on, like Microsoft says you need to have it, then I would restart my device because I have found that restarting does quicken up the process in regards to updates and so on being offered to your machine. But nonetheless, just letting you know that Windows 11 25H2 now is available to all eligible Windows 11 devices and also Windows 10 devices if you have that toggle turned on and you meet the requirements to be upgraded to this year's annual feature update. So thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.